Oh, it doesn't matter. It's a light class. It makes it even more interesting. Could <laughs> you move that one just around because it's coming in my eyes? Lovely, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Reflected, reflected light. Okay, now. Well, I was going to work on this one. Do you remember we said that that transparency, that transparent shadow on her eyes? Can you see, Jack? Yeah, okay. Yes. Um, so, and also her expression in the eyes, which is she's a little bit like uh, uh, looking quite intensely, let's say, there. Now, do you remember Loomis method? Beauty's not yeah. coming now. Yeah. Beauty's not coming? No, she's got German visitors. Um, so she can't make it. Okay. 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 Do you remember the Loomis method? Yeah. The round, uh, the rounded. Now, obviously, the rounded circle goes right here, it encompasses head. So you promise it's head and head and nose, something like that. Hmm? And the nose is under or within the circle, the nose. Okay, so let's see. Circle here, the nose inside the circle. Then you have middle of the circle. Huh? But there is an angle to the middle of the circle. The circle is not horizontal. Uh, that angle, that, that, or that middle of the circle, it's not straight, it's slightly bended this way. Because you have one eyebrow higher than the other one. And then you have a side of the circle, but in this case, it's very little, uh, very little on the, uh, on the side of the circle. Uh, we don't actually, because she's facing us, it's some, something like that. There's another side or two uh, side planes of the circle. Now, extend that line, which is basically you extend the end of the circle downwards like this, and you extend that way downwards like that. Um, under, under, well, we have that line, which is the middle, then we have this one, which I said the nose is inside the Lumista circle. So what I'm thinking now is taking that measurement, which is the middle of the circle, and the end of the circle, which is the nose, move it down, and it gives you the chin. So there you go. And that is, that doesn't mean that is the correct measurement. It's an approximate for the time being, but we'll see how that goes. Then you have, move the jaw down, have that angle of the jaw here, have the angle, the other angle of the jaw there, and possibly, not possibly, but you need a flattened, more of a flat corner here. And you have the jaw there. And that middle of the circle normally is for the eyebrows. Now you have another line under which are the eyes itself. Yeah? There you have it. And the, the, the middle of the mouth, it's, it's just above the uh, middle of the lip. Uh, so the middle, so that is, well, that extension from the eyebrows to the nose, from nose to the chin, of course, you have another middle there, and this is what I was referring to. So that is, the middle of the mouth is slightly above the middle of the bottom part of the, of the face. So it's above, it's above that middle. We have the lip, lower lip, jaw, side plane, well, side plane here, jaw, and then side, that, that angle of the jaw. And obviously, you have a neck moving it. The neck moves from the end of the chin, somewhere here, and there's an angle to it. There's an angle to that sort. So it's not straight down there, it's an angle, because she's looking, she's slightly tilted on onto her right. And you have the neck coming that way, the other side of the neck, from the jaw, you've got the neck, lips, eyes then you have the hat now what i was thinking is to that middle tone that i have on the face it's a transparent shadow so how to deal with that is do you remember we've done that many many times with uh take the charcoal so it's not using some i can use the chart i can use the side of the charcoal basically doing it this way i could but maybe with that will be quicker and a little bit more accurate so the Transparent shadow. 
and then you have another transparent shadow on the side or the jaw okay another another shadow which is also the hat creates a shadow on the face but also she's it's mainly the hat but also the the movement of her head creates that shadow here on this side and you have a nose then you have another shadow of the neck down here right down there you have another shadow of the chin which is on this side shadow under her lip shadow under her nose I'm, I'm going very i'm not trying to be very accurate because it's a, it's quite the beginning still but i'm trying to get at least the middle tones which are not the darkest tones that i see here which are basically the hair but middle tones in the face now going to the hair it needs a little bit of a darker darker tone of value so i can use a charcoal sideways create darker much much darker tones for the hair then you have the hair come here coming in and then hat which ex exceeds the hair there and the hat on that side it, it obviously goes beyond <coughs> beyond the face that's the shadow of the hat and a line which creates basically that was the middle of the circle but then i have that line of the hat which comes under the middle of the circle the middle of the circle was here where the eyebrows are there that hat line comes inside that middle because it drops up to her eyes so it's that was the middle of the circle at the beginning eyes are somewhere here so the hat comes down here there there and the top of the hat which is not much going on here it's quite light so I assume it's something like this. Not much going on there. And the side of the nose, which is, if that's a circle, which it is, side of the nose is off the center of the circle. So it was, it was a line like that. The side of the nose, that line, nose reach, is actually a little bit off the center. So if that was the center of the circle, the, the initial circle, then the nose goes there and the eye is actually that eye on eye on the shadow which is there eye on the shadow and then you have uh, uh, the bag under the eye kind of and then you have this other eye she's got quite expressive and big eyes so there looking looking aside looking on the side end of the nose shadow here and the shadow of the hat right there and the chin itself there. and the ear is above the nose the ear is above the nose come back here I like this is a bit brighter than the hair hair there and then you have upper lip upper lip here and the lower lip and the shadow which the lower lip creates under the chin and that shadow it's a transparent light shadow it's a skin tone so it's transparent shadow here the, which is between the lip and the jaw here right here and keep it that's that shadow it's much much lighter than the shadow under the lip under sorry under the hat under the hat shadow shadow which is close to the eyebrows is much much darker then you got the eyebrows too and jaw let's define a little bit more the jaw now which is quite chiseled for the jaw and cheek cheek cheekbone jaw and cheekbone then you have uh, the uh, yeah the, the jaw uh, the side sideline of the jaw and also quite big dark 
shadows for the hair. Which they, they do come down here. Actually, and that would be, to be honest, with putty rubber now to create those volumes that I see here, which are beautiful. Yeah. That's it, isn't it? Sorry, Jane? Hair looks as though it's plaited. Yes, yes, mm. yeah, most likely, yes, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Loose, very loose. Very loose, yes. Looks like it's something like that. Uh, I, I think it's an AI drawing, if I'm not... Yeah, it's not it's not a drawing with charcoal, to be honest. It's a yeah, computer-generated drawing. Yeah. But you can see it, can you? Yeah. You can see this, yeah. But it doesn't matter. It, it's just beautiful, you know. <coughs> and happy. It's like a 1920s Charleston girl at the moment, doesn't it? Mm. And yours, it's lovely. Yeah, yes. you can't put the top of the hat in or anything. It's beautiful, yeah. That's, it's, that's, beautiful. it's very attractive that's actually, mm. to draw, to work on that. Gosh. And uh, hair moving down here, mm. hair moving there, hair moving here. Keep, some, when you work with things which I worked <coughs> early on there, I, the thing is, I don't know why they. Sometimes the paper create those patches here, which I'm not sure why they are created because the paper has nothing there, so I don't know why. But anyway, be aware when you use your fingers. I think it's probably a little bit of dirt is left there. Anyhow, let's do that shadow here, and then the shadow of the hat itself goes something like this all around her nose, comes down there. And, and she's just even more her face. And then it's lighter. And the lighter tone of the nose. There. And it protrudes the nose forward. There. And distance between the two eyebrows, a little bit further, the distance. And the bagged under the eye, which is this one here. And the eye itself, she's got, she seems to have clear eyes, like, you know, blue eyes or green eyes, quite transparent. And eyebrow here. And the, uh, the, the shape of her eyebrow. Then you have the hat itself, which goes there. Hairline. That was a bit strong. But anyway, yeah, maybe you're too strong. It just moves in front of her face. Okay. A bit less of that. And you can, you can look in it. It's everywhere. But your hair is going everywhere. All around. Deep of that. Upper, upper lip. And Is that Michelle? Michelle, yes. Hello. Hello, hello. 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 <laughs> and then a light in the hat. Chin. And a little bit more of or even longer shadow of the neck. So the neck bring it down here in the shadow there. there. Hmm? Then you have the neck here. I know it's not uh, <coughs> it's not as pretty as she looks there, but at least we've got the basics. We've got the chin. Uh, that you see that makes it looks like very very chiseled. So that line much much softer here, much softer, and the line under the shadow here. And what gives her a, a huge I mean the the expression is on the eyes. So I need to work a lot more on the eyes. But if I work a lot on the eyes, that means you have less time for you to work on. So I will leave it at that stage. And I let you come to this particular stage. And if you need, I can I can work it later on. I can continue working later. 
but yeah, the expression is there. We've got pretty much the, the, the movement of the head. The nose needs to be a bit wider on me. And keep an eye because my nose is, see, I've created a very, her nose is quite, quite pointy. It's quite pointy. That means that the base of her nose, it's a little bit further up like this. Uh, you can see the nostrils underneath, but also you can see the tip, the end of the nose. So that's what I should have done, which I didn't do. And also, there is a slight shadow of her nose above her lip. This one, it's a very transparent, but it's a bit of a, uh, again, it's, it's a bit of a tricky shadow because you don't want her to look like moustache, so be very, very light in the shadow and bring back this light here which is a hat on the shadow here on the upper lip on the upper lip that, that shadow here there and this lip i brought it up and makes her smile but she's not smiling at all actually so go and then thicker lower lip and this one, wider, wider chin, chin a bit wider. The red line could come down here and become a little bit wider there. there we are. And then almost a square jaw, wider at least. And a transparent shadow of the neck. And the shadow of the neck, it's lighter than the hair. So I should come light on that shadow and the hair is much, much darker, you can see here. Hmm? Much, much darker. All right. Should we go? Okay. Huh? It's it's a start. <laughs> it's, we, we're not there yet, but it's a start. All right. Let's go back to our drawing here. First of all, I think I'm going to start with that with this hair coming all through, although it does come, uh, but not as strong as that. Here we go. Shadow, a general shadow. And the eyebrow is slightly lower. that. Low the eyebrow. Um, what else can we do? A little bit of sharp in the um, charcoal. Hat. It's all around there. Soft shadow, although it's darker. This shadow is darker than the face, and the shadow of the face. So I can lighten that up a little bit more. Define the nose a bit more. The eyebrow here. A continuous shadow here. Continuous shadow between the eyebrow and the nose ridge, then you have the hat coming down here, then you have the eye, the white of the eye, and a soft, soft cheekbone, zygomatic cheek, cheekbone, shadow, soft eye. A soft shadow here. And bring the chin, I think, a little bit lower. Yeah, I think there. Well, actually, I'll start doing that line. I don't think that's the correct line. It's more here. There, yeah, that's a more of an accurate line. Why 
wider the nostril, wider the nostril. Kind of a lighter tone of body under the nostril. You can come and do a little bit of a highlight of the lower part of the eyelid. Of a light on the eye, upper eyelid, the uh, upper lip, a little bit darker. I think that hair here can, it's a lot thinner to start with. The, no, uh, the filter, emphasis on the filter a little bit more. And then you have lower lip that gives a, a good expression that lip will turn you onto lower lip then you have the upper lip a little bit sharper the line a softer turn of the line there, okay, and uh, a little bit lighter, a reflected light coming through the jaw. There, uh, neck. What if I about the neck? I can bring down some line. Oh, around the line too. Yeah. And high line here for the eyebrow and possibly a little thinner, thinner eyebrow, not going too far ahead. And sharpen up a little bit more the tip of the charcoal. Sharper. And also take some of that dust, my brush, and then apply it right under the eyebrow. And the eye. Darker here. Darker. On this side of the nose. Cheekbone, emphasis on the cheekbone, although I see more of a hairline than a line for the cheekbone, but it's good to use it anyway to do those darks there.
we have a light area, the hair, and an area of the hair which is in the shadow. Light shadow, but still is in the shadow. Sharp line here. Neck. Soft, inner, inner, and in, interrupted, soft shadow, and the neck, and we get here, down here. Darker, but also the whole thing is darker. It's under a shadow. We've got air flowing freely under the hat. Darker. Hat ribbons. Yeah. Okay, I think I've got a little bit stronger those lines because they do attract a little bit of attention. But they're not too bad. A bit softer. So yeah, we're emphasizing basically the shadow of the of the under the hat to be honest to, to, to start with. The lip is I think could go a little bit more there. And then we have earlobe, ear itself, ear goes up there obviously, because the ear is, oh, the hat actually, the end of the hat is right there, so I should have gone way more, way wider here. That's it. So, not to give. Obviously, that suggests that the hair is moving on that side, or that the head and the hair is there. So, why the hat? And get some of those shadows a bit more transparent with the cloth. I'm trying to keep that transparency off shadow the hat on her face. So lighter tone, lighter tone here, on the side of the face, uh, also a little bit lighter, this is basically a, a painting cloth, it's full of colours, so, but there are dry parts, of, so that's the dry parts I'm using here. I'm not using shami because shami, it will apply 
like a puppy rubber. So it will take it will take a lot of bad a lot of good shadows together with the bad. So cloth is kind of a bit more controllable. This um, painting cloth that I have here. Duct. Eyebrow. Chin a bit further up. It's a bit softer now. I'm a bit happier. That's a dark, but dark or darker, but transparent shadow out of the jaw. Ribbon. Well, that actually is a hat, it's not a ribbon. No, oh, yeah, it's a ribbon, no, that's the ribbon. It's a hat. Hair. You need to keep, keep an eye, not make it way too dark. And this a little bit more emphasis on the jaw. Don't want her to look too upset by lowering the eyebrow, but uh, if it has to be lowered, it has to be lowered. So I'm trying to do that, and also under the eye, there is the under eye, uh, the lower eyelid. There, maybe lower eyelid. Lower eyelid on the left hand side too. Uh, I've just noticed that I've given her kind of a wider jaw. More than I see here. So let's fix that. That is by lowering the, or making it a little fleshy at the lower lip. Fleshy at the lower lip. Uh, the lower lip further up. And wide enough, I said that. Well, I've mentioned that earlier on, so let's widen the nose a little bit more. 
Not the void, not the wide and the nose look. She's got the more of a yeah, the width is more substantial here. the loop wide the lower lip and bring the chin further up round a little bit further up up here yeah so a bit more rounded basically and back as well. Jaw here. Airline. Upper, upper eyelid. Lower eyelid, pupil, the iris, shadow under the upper eyelid, so that eye is coming up, and then a little bit of a shadow here, continuing with this shadow and spreading it there. More in the middle. Wide the nose. Continue with the width of the nose. Widen it a little bit more. This is something that I need to emphasize a bit more, a bit more which is the part of the nose which becomes cheek so there you go mm, width of the nose here keep it merging with cheek Shadow that side of the nostril, a bit darker than that. I'm never going to be too dark with that, but also I like it. I like the darkness here, but again, you don't want to go too as dark as that, but it's okay. Chiseling out the, the chin and the cheek. The cheek maybe. Okay. Here. And that eye, which needs to be her right eye or our left. Well, first of all, bring that rose hair coming through. Wide the cheek, too wide here, and that area is all in the dark, but I'll even do it later on. Try and up spraying it first.
emphasis on the upper eyelids. Pupil. And a lighter pupil too, because it uh, feels like she's got blue eyes or green eyes. And nostril on the left, the right nostril, bit of a cuter, small nostril here, but not to forget, shut up. Now I'm going to be too wide here, I need to fix that. Tip of the nose. Nostril. Hair. Wider, lower the hairline here, lower, lower the hairline. Okay, I think it's a bit more. Okay. All right, I'll speak now. And I'll give her another sh shadow, basically, you know, shade, a shadow, spray it now. Okay, sprayed it. Let's give it a little bit of a darker tone of value, especially on hair. Thin lines, Keep, I'm keeping the charcoal really far away. So you see, the spray keeps, keeps the charcoal where it is, it doesn't spread it. So I can now come back and do uh, those dark Shadows which appear everywhere here. So keep on the hair here. Yeah? Warm up those darks with in the dark area anyway. And I can come back now and go. On the other side of the shadows there. So slightly less dark. A bit lighter here, okay, so the neck is. I can still use the putty, although I've sprayed it. And there is another ribbon here. Hmm? So it's otherwise it's too empty for this area. A little bit more and keep the darks a little bit darker. A darker tone of value. A darker tone of value on the hat itself. That pushes the hat further back to also a lighter on right that area here. 
I thought it was him, but that was not him. It was my Lumi Circle. So it wasn't here, actually. I confused it for here. Anyhow, doesn't matter. Could be here. See, now I can be, I can use a putty. Well, I'm not moving a lot of things, but I can move some. Remove a few, a uh, few, and create some half tones. See, which they needed, but also, oh, this is a transparent cubical shadow. So I should bring that back. Shadow. General, a general shadow. And above the eye as well. And emphasizes the, uh, the, the shadow of the hat on her skin tone. Or re emphasizes. It's already emphasized, but makes it even more so. Again, come back and re draw with a jaw. You will illustrate the line and come in right up to the jawline with the hair. Okay, and the hair down here, lighter. Sharper lines here, yeah. but also to create that shadow, if you know what I mean, that the shadow of the hat of head onto the hair. Emphasis on plates here. And a dark line to re emphasize the neck. Well, a bit more sharpening the charcoal, you know, on the sandpaper. I'm doing it on my table here because it's a lot more stable than doing it right up there. So sharpening my charcoal and giving that sharp edge. Sharp edge, okay. Come back to my dark sea. My brush, 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 brush. And a bit of a softer patch here. That's why I need the brush.
lighter because I'm going go to dark and I don't want that darkness to be so widespread all over. Okay. And that jaw, I think is a bit too elongated. Come back and trim it a little bit more. There. And a little bit of that lightness of the neck, which goes right up to the jaw. Cannot ignore that. No way. All right, there. That's a bit better. Transparent shadows. Hat. And the head out there. All right. 